This is Mark with the Mongoose development team. Today we're going to explore device types. In Mongoose, we have the ability to create alternative layouts for the devices like tablets and smartphones that you want to target. We call these derived versions. The great thing is that all of your business logic and much of the layout is shared in the base version of the form. Here we have a form we built that's meant for use on a full screen type device. Enter design mode and go to form, definition, edit device type. Click add and create a tablet device type and specify the resolution of the device in pixels. We also want to add a phone device type while we're here. You can use features like glue and the flex layout component to make the same layout adapt between portrait and landscape, but typically you target one or the other. Click OK and go to Form, Definition, Form Device Type, and we can create our derived form for our tablet. Select the tablet row and click OK. All of our components are inherited from the master version of the form and are locked as you can see from this lock icon. Since our form is going to be on a touch device, we want to make the button larger. To create a device specific version of this button, select it and in the properties, set from device master to false. Then select the devices that we want to create device specific versions on. The less we unshare and create device specific versions, the better, so we can maintain everything in one place. We don't need this help icon and the text down here on the tablet version. So let's create device specific versions of these two components and then set them to hidden. Click save and let's move on to our phone version. Click on form, definition, form device type, then select the phone device. Again we're inheriting the components from the master device, so if we want to modify them, we'll need to create device specific versions for the phone device. Let's unshare the top banner and move it over. Since we already created a phone specific version of the button at the same time as we created the tablet version, there's no need to unshare it and recreate it. I'll make it larger here too. The last thing is let's unshare the footer static and then size it appropriately. Now let's look at all three versions of our form. Here's our desktop version. This is what it looks like on a tablet. And here's our form running on a smartphone. And again, all of our business logic is shared, so changes to event handlers, the shared components, or security policy will automatically apply to all versions. Mongoose selects the most appropriate version of the form at runtime based on the device characteristics. Users can also set up URL parameters to force a particular device type regardless of the device that they're using. For more tutorials and documentation, visit the Mongoose portal. For technical support, go to InforExtreme, and if you have general questions or comments, email mongoose at infor.com. This is Mark Ellison with the Mongoose Development Team. Thanks for watching.